Hi, this is Jeff Chow. In this screencast, I want to talk a little bit about the style checking plugin that we are using and that is going to be a part of your grade for each assignment. It's going to contribute to your grade for each assignment. So consistent style when writing code is incredibly important. And we've decided to uh, help you learn that by making sure that on each assignment there are some points that you receive for uh, styling your code properly. Uh, the plugin that we're using is called CheckStyle, and CheckStyle takes your code and checks whether or not it meets a particular set of formatting conventions. Um, this ensures a couple of things. First of all, it ensures that code written by multiple people uh, has similar sort of conventions in terms of things like, for example, the placement of braces. So if I try to put a brace on this line, um, the CheckStyle plugin is going to complain. It's going to say uh, this brace should be on the previous line. Um, this is still syntactically valid Java code, but again, if you're trying to read some files where the braces are on the following line and some where they're on the preceding line, it gets very confusing. And so having things uh, consistent is, is really nice. Um, so as you're working on the assignment, you'll find again that the check style will throw up these little uh, problems here. Um, it is possible to uh, right click on the file and apply, say, apply check style fixes. Um, notice that check style only checks the file when you save it. So until you save it, um, it doesn't recheck it. Um, so if you have made a change that um, fixes one of the problems that it identifies, um, it will not um, sort of update its warning messages until you save the file. So here are some things that you can do that will irritate uh, the check style plugin. So um, for example, writing bare if statements. Um, this will not, um, this will not fly. So, um, and it will complain if construct must use brackets. And this is again, very good uh, practice to always put uh, brackets around your if statements. Um, you know, again, it's two more characters. Um, you might think, oh, well, I wasted a line here. Um, but the point is that when I'm reading, when other people are reading your code, the fact that every if statement is formatted and identically, regardless of whether it has one condition or two conditions, is makes your code much, much, much easier to read um, and much more consistent. Um, check style will also complain about so-called magic numbers. So let's say um, if input is less than 20. Um, um, so here, what it's going to say is, uh, this is a magic number. Um, what does that mean? So a magic number is a constant um, that's in your code, but is not defined in a way that makes it useful to somebody uh, or helps them understand what it is. So if I was reading your code, I might come to this line and say, why less than 20? You know, what's important about the number 20? Uh, why is that meaningful in this context? So what we've done is we've uh, provided some of these constants for you. Um, so for example, for factorial, we've provided uh, the min and the max, right? So I can essentially say, uh, if the input is larger than the max value that I'm supposed to uh, accept, I can return an invalid answer. And that'll cause the, uh, the warning about magic numbers to go away. In some of the other files, you may need to define these constants yourself um, in order to avoid those warnings. So, you know, this is not, we hope that the check style uh, portion of the assignment isn't something that's going to be uh, too frustrating. If you're having trouble addressing the errors, feel free to, um, you know, post your problems on the forum or come into office hours and we'll be happy to help you. Don't post your code on the forum because we don't want other students to see it. But if you're having a particular error, um, you know, we can give you an example of how to address it. Um, the other thing that check style will do is enforce, uh, so if I wanted to add another function here, And this is the thing that's probably going to bother you the most in later assignments. Say I wanted to add a new function to this um, to this class. Term one. Um, it's going to require that you write a Java doc comment for that function. So, and, and this is something we'll cover uh, later in the class. Um, the right now the let's see here. Now what is it complaining about? All uh, right, turn one, put this function. So documenting your code is another thing that's really important when you're writing code for other people to read or for yourself to read. 
Um, and this is uh, not something that we're going to cover too much in MP1 because you don't have to um, write any new functions for this. You just have to complete the functions that we've already given you. But in later assignments, we'll come back to this and talk about how to write good comments. Uh, but check style is going to ensure and check for the fact that if you add methods or if you add functions, if you add constants, if you add various types of other variables, you do um, write comments for them that will allow other people to understand what they do.